Hello guys, and let's talk about something beautiful in detail. The destruction of Russian A-50 and Il-22 yesterday, because every detail of this special military operation of Ukrainian armed forces is beautiful. Let me tell you more. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda, fake news and even their big planes. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. You know that in my videos I provide you with an ordinary Ukrainian perspective on these extraordinary times. So today I spend all day reading news inside Ukraine, in the international media and also some googling, trying to understand why A-50 is such a big and heavy target and why it is so good that now it is transformed into a submarine on the bottom of the Sea of Azov. Well, because this plane is very dangerous, it is a warning and control plane constructed back in Soviet Union, but reconstructed many times. It's extremely technological and it provides Russian army with very bad information about Ukrainian air defense systems, Ukrainian planes, whether they land or go into the skies. What is worse, A-50 can look deep inside Ukraine. And, you know, we still do not have long-range missiles. We need long-range missiles. Uh, and many of Ukrainian bombers, they have to fly really close to the front lines and A-15 can catch them and transmit that information to evil Russian troops. So now they will have fewer opportunities because they don't have many of these planes. They are super expensive from 300 million to 500 million, like half a billion dollars with all the gadgets on board. Um, according to official estimates, they have like 16 of them, eight working, but today I was reading toxic Russian publics and they say it looks like just four or three of them are working. Three of them were working uh, close to Ukraine on the front lines. They were um, having the shifts, night shifts, day shifts, when they fly together with Il-22 or alone, collecting the information. Now they will have less of such opportunities. What is also important, a similar A-50 was destroyed in Belarus on the airfield last year. Uh, but Russians will not be able to build something similar and we are exhausting their resources. What is also interesting, it's very likely that it was destroyed with old Soviet S-200 uh, system, not even a Patriot. Remember to subscribe and demonstrate your solidarity if you're new to the channel and see more of Russian failures together. So uh, we don't have many Patriot systems, we care about them a lot. And it is likely that Ukrainian armed forces would not risk putting them close to front line. So it may be that we've managed to perform such a huge operation destroying A-50 with an old Soviet system. Like Soviet uh, gave birth and Soviet killed that. It looks like a monster eating a monster. So... Il-22M was flying together with it. It's quite common, this joint patrolling for protection and other stuff. Uh, Il-22 is a, a plane that was built for a combat uh, environment, so it may be that even severely uh, damaged it could have land because there is a conversation of a pilot asking for an emergency landing in Anapa, which is a city on the um shores of the black sea in uh, russian federation uh, the pilot was asking for um, ambulance firefighters and now there are photos of a very torn tail of that plane but actually nothing else so maybe it's just a piece of that tail that um, remained maybe the plane did not manage to land but even if it managed um, it will need months of reparation or maybe it's impossible to repay it, which means Russia now lacks two very serious, two very serious planes that it was using to terrorize Ukraine. Also, uh, you will not read much about that in Russian media, but Russian publics, Russian telegrams channel and even Russian military journalists and experts, like if you can call them that way, 
uh, speak about that, criticize Russia, speak about this uh, loss, share photos, share conversations. And uh, the fact that Russian officials do not speak about that, once again, uh, demonstrate this is a huge loss. Just remember how uh, silent they were when a Russian warship Moskva was destroyed. They pretended nothing happened. They did not mention how many sailors died on that ship. And only the protests of mothers of the sailors attracted some attention. Also, uh, the destruction of Russian Black Sea headquarters and the death of the admiral there. Nothing, like just random everyday case in Russia. Maybe sometime soon you will have lots of such events inside Russian Federation. And also, the start of Putin's career was marked by online dying tragedy of sailors on Kursk. All the world wanted to help save these people and he said, oh, never mind. So this proves that loss of A50 and loss of Il-22 is huge and undeniable because now within Russian military circles, they spread fake news saying that it was the work of uh, Russian air defense system that shot down A50, you know? Uh, it made me feel very interested. Why on earth do they need to say that it is not Ukrainians who shot down their A-50 eternal enemies, evil people, but that these were Russian negligence? Uh, just like we were making jokes here, for example, Russia got bored with shooting Ukrainian jets that's too simple so they started shooting their own more professional uh, jets but it looks like uh, the explanation of one of the military expert expert seems logical he says this is a psychological operation targeted on Russian army and uh, Russian pilots because now seeing the destruction of air defense systems in Crimea, seeing the escape of Russian Black Sea Navy from the Crimea, they are afraid to patrol these zones. They avoid, they don't want to, and uh, they are afraid of Ukrainians, but they try to show that, no, 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 these are not Ukrainians, They're, this is not the success of Ukrainian army, this is just a human factor, human factors happen, this will not repeat, but we all know this is fake. And the more I observe Russian army, the more I see it repeats Russian politics. All is fake. All is uh, lies. All is uh, bluff. And this is pathetic. We have to stop them, we have to punish them, and we have to start reconstructing this huge piece of empty territory with zombified uh, population. The sooner, the better. Thank you once again for your support and understanding. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram, threads, Twitter, join my Discord. All the links are below this video. Also, we have a merch shop where we have a new collection with the Ukrainian names of months of the year. That is a good collection stuff or if you have a best day in a particular month, why not give yourself such a present and remind people about Ukraine? Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons, but most importantly, thank you for being friends of Ukraine. United we stand and together we will win. Slava Ukraini!